Hi, I'm Hannah, graduate assistant and personal trainer at the Recreation Center. Today we're going to take you through a quick core workout. We'll be doing 35 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest to transition between exercises. Um, I want you guys to be sure that you're modifying exercises if you need to, taking breaks if you need to, and you can look to Claire in the gray shirt if you need to make any modifications for these workouts. So have a good time and try to be safe. High little planks for 35 seconds and go. Trying to keep those hips steady. We don't want to be rocking back and forth a ton. We want to keep that core strong, hips as level as we can. If you need to move your feet a bit wider to help you out, you can. It makes it slightly easier to not let the hips rock. Ten more seconds. Squeezing the quads and glutes. Rest for 10 seconds, and we're doing armadillo crunches. Starting out with your elbows planted up by your knees. You're going to slowly and controlled rock back. Oh, then use your muscles to pull yourself back up. We're not trying to use momentum here. We're trying to use that core musculature to get ourselves back up to seated position. Don't hold your breath in these. Come on, keep going, 10 seconds. Next movements will be V up with a twist. Rest for 10 seconds. Next one will be V up with a twist, or a regression could be a V up or a little V up. Ready? And go. If you're doing the V up with a twist, alternate which side you twist to first. Come on, keep it up. Exhaling as you come up into the V up. Ten seconds, let's go. And rest for 10 seconds, and we're going to do a cardio movement, ski hops. In five seconds, starting with those feet together, we're going to be hopping laterally. And go. Give me nice soft landings, keeping the feet close together, keeping the flat backs in good posture for me. Trying to jump out to the side as far as you can. Ten more seconds, and we get ten seconds of rest. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Ten seconds to rest. Nice job, you guys. Two, one. Three directional planks. Driving the knee to the opposite elbow, to the same elbow, and then out to the side, and switching legs. Keep breathing through it. You should be keeping your quads and your glutes and, of course, that core engaged the whole time here. This isn't just about abs. We're working full body. Six seconds. And get ready for airplanes next. Lying down on your stomach, keeping the feet together. We're starting in five seconds. Three, two, one, you're going to keep the feet down on the floor and lifting that chest off and looking towards the side, alternating side to side. You'll be keeping those glutes engaged. You'll be lifting through that back. Just 10 more seconds, come on. Exhaling each time you lift up. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds to transition. We're doing moving scissors next. You're going to be propped up on your forearms, hands right by your butt, shoulders back. Give me little flutter kicks as you move up and down. 
We're really trying to keep from the shoulders rounding forward like this. We want chest out, shoulders back. Looking good, you guys. That posture for me. If you want to mix it up, do big scissors. And 10 seconds to transition to our cardio movement, which is switch kicks. Starting in three seconds, two, one, go. Driving one knee up and kicking with the other. Trying to stay upright, not letting ourselves lean back at all. Exhaling as you snap that foot out. You can also do the regress version where you just stand and kick. Ten more seconds for me. You should be feeling the core working on this if you're doing it correctly. And rest for ten seconds before we transition. Nice work, you guys. One, go. Bridge marches for me. Get those toes up off the floor so you're pushing through your heels. Feet are close together. You're just lifting up one knee and then the other. We're trying to keep our hips steady, so we don't want to see a bunch of hips collapse. We're seeing her rocking back and forth, trying to keep the hips level. Take your time with these. We're not in a rush. We want good form. And rest. Next movement is going to be plank pulses. High plank will be slightly easier. Low plank is a bit more of a challenge. You're going to come into a plank position, and as you exhale, you're going to almost try to do a crunch while you're in the plank. So you'll exhale, and crunch, inhale, relax. Good. You can act like you're trying to dry your elbows and knees together. That's wrong. Elbows and toes together. Ten more seconds. All right, you guys, 10 seconds to switch. We're doing starfish next. Starting in five seconds. Three, two, one. Hands and feet start out wide. Exhale as you come to touch the opposite foot. You'll be resting in this position, bouncing on your tailbone. To modify, you can look over at Claire and do more of a toe touch where you lift one leg up and then reach to the toe. Whatever you're doing, be sure that core stays strong. You don't want to be injuring those backs. So keep that core brace. Three, two, one. All right. Moving on to our cardio movement, just jumping jacks. You guys should all know this. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. If you have any shoulder issues, you can try just reaching straight up with these jumping jacks or allowing the arms to bend a little bit. But if you have healthy shoulders, try to keep those arms mostly straight here. Just like with the rest of the movements we're doing, we want core brace. Ten more seconds. Pick it up fast. Five. One and rest. Okay, that's it. 